Guys, what's going on? Welcome back. We are pumped to show you this new build. This thing has got everything. The details in this build were so much fun. The customer's like, hey, George, we want you to add a little bit of your custom touch to it. I want something totally unique. I want a lot of custom colors, but I want to go fast. I want to go hard. I want the biggest. I want the best. But just work your magic a little bit. So introducing our newest Bronco Pro Runner build. You guys are looking right here next to me on the camera. You'll see that no detail was spared. Starting at the corner of the car, let's work our way around, show you what you've seen before, and let's jump into some of those fresh details. So here on the front grille, this vehicle came in with like a J7 magnetic gray front grille, and we knew the color profiling that we wanted the entire time. So as we were disassembling the front end, we popped the grille, removed all the Bronco decals and lettering, and just repainted everything, matching that two-tone coloring. This accent color that we came up with, it's something totally unique. It's like a burnt bronze orange, it's super unique, but that same color profile matches the suspension components, the shackles, the upper hood trims, and some other suspension parts, which we're gonna get into a little bit later. But just like a recap on these LP6s, these are a powerful light. They've got incredible backlight function, so as you're running at night, you know, as you're driving on the street, you've got that backlight on there that kind of connects into your factory running lights. So your upper hood trim, your LP6s, your side markers, you know, all those general running lights are gonna have some function into these performance off-road lights. We went with amber lenses on this car. It's a bit softer on the eyes. It has its advantages, but a lot of this was customer preference. You guys have mostly seen us running the white lights. Both awesome choices. Again, customer preference. So when you're housing this big, fat, worn Xeon 12S winch, you know, it's kind of blocks the front camera. It's one of the biggest complaints of aftermarket bumpers. So, you know, just doing things the right way, we relocated it to the front of the bumper, so you still have that full functionality. We decided to go with the ADD uh, Fairlead for this setup and their actual link and hook system. It just fits in nicely. It was all designed together. It flows very nice. And for a front winch bumper, we all know that you can't kind of get them tucked in where the intercooler is. It really doesn't stick out that bad. It's got a little bit of weight behind it, but that's really what you need for some front armor, you know, especially a winch pull bumper. It's got a lot of frame reinforcement, so when you are yanking yourself out of a tight spot or helping a friend out, you know you can rely on Warren to get the job done. Now check this upper hood trim out. We've kind of went over the hood trim a little bit, but this one's unique, this one's special. This one's actually got a V-groove center cut and a 12K carbon weave. Kind of matching the color profiling of the two-tone accents of the car. We've got these burnt orange billet plate up on top. It's got the front marker lights, which pair into the remaining running lights of the car. It's got the three accessory mounts on each side. And again, guys, this is a fully functional carbon hood, meaning it's gonna allow heat to escape the engine compartment. And that's super crucial for super slow technical, you know, rock crawling or slow driving when you're not getting the airflow through the car. But it also allows for proper water drainage. Water will not pool and collect on top of the hood. It'll drain onto our lower pad and drain out the front of the car, just like the factory intended it. It's beautiful, it's functional, and adds a lot of pop to the car. Sitting up here on the A-pillar are these XL Pros. These are also outfitted with an amber lens. We've given them a slight tilt outward, so you've got really good focus as you're heading down trail, and you've got a good field of view, even for oncoming drivers. All right, now you guys have seen our carbon quarter panels, you've seen our flares, but you haven't seen it done like this. This customer wanted everything to pop, totally custom, totally unique, and that's only possible with APG's body system. Check this out. Just absolutely flawless, fully exposed quarter panels. It's sitting on a 12K cross 45 weave. We did a little bit of dark blending on the corners to kind of let it match and flow with the rest of the car. Pairing that up with our one inch flare, the transitional trims, it just, it's better than factory. And we're super excited how this car turned out. And always guys, all of our body systems are made with aerospace grade carbon fiber, which is infused with a high temperature resin. It's got a perfect resin to fiber ratio. We post cure these in our oven up to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. It's got consistent material thickness across. It's got a perfect bolt-in configuration. Clearly there is no body filler or any corrective nature taken to fix our parts before installation. So you're gonna get a product that lasts the life of the car. And like all pro runners, everything is complete front and rear. Matching the front, take a look at this beautiful exposed carbon rear setup. Everything from the primary fender itself, the one inch flare extension, the fuel door, everything flows phenomenal. Blended into tail lights and matching perimeter quarter panels and fenders and tailgates. Everything just flows out the way that it should. Perfect edge fitment. This is supercar stuff and it just pops. Check this out, guys. 
This isn't something you've seen before on some of APG's build. Everything totally custom. This beautiful burnt orange and bronze, double adjustable upper control arm, dust caps. The entire shock system was removed, disassembled down to the core, valving, springs, seats, upper perch collars, caps, everything taken off. Everything was stripped, sent to anodizing for this custom unique profiling. The top cap, spring seats, everything has got this beautiful two-tone accenting. The shock cylinders were sent out for coating. No detail overlooked here. The bump stops, the secondary bypass shocks, the compression adjusters, the entire system here is all custom coated and it pops. It is absolutely beautiful. Now, just like you've seen on some of our bigger Pro Runner builds, these are running an eight inch stroke, three inch internal bypass coilover with race grade long fin reservoirs on the compression adjuster. They've got six inch throw, three two bypasses, also race grade, custom colored, it's valve and tuned for this customer's on and off road driving. It has so much control. We've even got those two O-threaded bump stops custom coated up there in the front, just to give you that great bottom out control. Heavy duty steering system. This particular vehicle has got a full billet 74 weld rack. Our heavy duty Heim outer steering system. It's sleeved, it's got an OEM inner boot. It's got incredible on road driving characteristics. Checking out that lower control arm. This is kind of matching the color profile. It's all black, it's box construction, steel reinforced internals. It's got mounts for the primary, the secondary. It's also got that strike pad for that bump stop. And one of the really neat features of how we built this car, we went ahead and locked out those lower pivots on the lower control arm and we're able to do that and still get the car aligned utilizing the double adjusters on the upper control arm. So this vehicle will never need to be realigned. We simply set it one time, you could romp in the desert, drive in the street, drive home after just banging around and you're never gonna need to realign this car. Typically it is the lower control arm cams that come out of phase when you're out beating around in the desert. And because we have those gusseted and reinforced and then locked into position, it's never gonna come out of alignment. And that's super awesome, especially on an IFS car that typically need alignments after you beat the crap out of them. You guys have obviously seen these big old 40 inch tall tires. How are we gonna support that with a strong drive system to not have other mechanical issues that you would typically see on a stock axle system? So starting with the front differential, we've got these big fat Dana Adventech 44s, 538 ratio, factory locker connection points. On the output shafts, we're running those RCV performance race axles. Those are 300M built, they're race car grade, they're indestructible. One of the advantages of running these RCV axles is they allow for more angle. You can have far more wheel travel over stock and you're not gonna get that CV axle bind. All right, now check out the bottom of this car. The front ADD bumper's got that front skid plate and the right behind that continuing all throughout the undercarriage of the car is these beautiful Next Venture skid plates. They're all aluminum with steel reinforcement brackets on top of them. Look at all that UMHW under there. Now we've got a lot more ground clearance than a factory Bronco, but if you happen to be spending some time in the rocks and you ever hang up on that UMHW, you're just gonna slide right over it. We only work with Next Venture. In our opinion, they make the best skid plate in the business. Now check out these rock sliders. These are steel frame reinforced, heavy duty, indestructible. They're gonna protect that pinch all the way around the rocker panel for the Bronco. And just like those underbelly skid plates, these rock sliders are outfitted with that same UMHW. Let's say you're hooking up on a rock, you're just gonna slide right over it, and that's instrumental. It's gonna protect the Bronco and look good doing it. So we fabricated this custom carbon step plate. It closes out the top to not allow any debris to enter that step. It also flows well, matching the front exposed carbon all the way to the rear. It just adds that special touch that only APG can deliver. Matching the theme of the front suspension system, having everything torn down, stripped apart, sent to several different metal processors, is the entire rear suspension system. We've got 14 inch stroke, three inch internal bypass primary coilovers. Again, all custom coated and colored. We've also got those 12 inch stroke, three tube king bypass shock, and that little two inch threaded bump stop. It's got incredible rear travel, just like the front. And if you're looking for the best in performance, this is it. You know, Bronco's rear lower shock mount is down at this level. Look where ours is. And this is only made possible with this really unique custom fabricated upper shock tower. This allows us to get way more travel out of a stock Bronco and by far best in travel numbers out of any other suspension system on the market. All right, guys, just like the front, we've got heavy duty axle. Check out what are we working with out in the back. We've got this heavy duty Ultimate Dana 60. This thing is a beast made specifically for us with a 76 inch wide 
wheel mount surface, got larger walls, dual taper bearings, heavy spline axles. We've got our custom made JE reel, double carton, 1350 drive shaft. Things just the unit, so strong, and it's gonna support these 40s out there having fun. Look at the custom coloring on all the control arms and track bar. It's matching that same dual colored theme here, just to add a unique twist, and the customer loves it. Now, because this vehicle is outfitted with our rear winch system, this customized exhaust specifically for APG, it's made by AWE. It has special routing off the tailpipe section that allows you to clear the rear winch system. It sounds great, gives you a little bit more performance. It just gives the right amount of touch. All right, guys, now checking out the back of the car, you know, just to demonstrate how big this car is, because sometimes the camera just doesn't do justice, as they say, I'm six foot four, and this is taller than me. Massive 40 back here, outfitted with his KMC custom B-lock by APG. You know, it's got the same two-tone accenting, big old niddle trail grappler. It's a 40-13-17, true B-lock. This thing's a monster. This is not gonna be supported in any factory tailgate reinforcement kit. It needs to be on a heavy-duty swing-out bumper system. And it's effortless. Just, It's just easy. It just Everything works and flows. It's a single stage operation. You still have the full factory range opening on it. You've got all your access here in the back. It's functional, but this customer is gonna be coming back to us. We've got a lot of other accessories going in this thing. We've got a goose gear tailgate table. Now just check out this rear bumper system. This is outfitted with our M8 rear winch system. This is outfitted with our Factory 55 Pro Lincoln Fairlead. Tucks up nicely so the tire has clearance whenever it's closed. Also outfitted on the rear bumper, we went ahead and did some custom powder coat on the step plate, black it all out. We've got a pair of Guadron Sport backup lights with some amber lenses. Full functionality of the rear proximity parking sensors. We've got these big old heavy duty DV8 shackles. So check out this rear tailgate emblem. Well, you guys have seen some of our custom Ford decals before, but we kind of did this one a little bit inverted because this is a black car. We don't want a black outer ring. So everywhere where we typically would have done the two-toning, we just kind of reversed it following the color profile that we've kind of been showing you guys throughout the, the build -a walk around we just added this beautiful touch to the tailgate small subtle but it just pops it looks great now check out the rear custom apg badge where you guys have seen it just exposed metal that wasn't enough here powder coated it we fabricated a custom flat panel of carbon and then did that secondary color behind the apg plate and then left it exposed carbon on the upper and lower triangles it just is gorgeous Look at that dust cap on that pivot system, also sent out for custom anodizing. Under the hood of this Bronco is a factory 2.7 liter turbocharged V6, and it's programmed with the Ford Performance Tuner. Gives it a great horsepower jump. We've also got this twin piston ARB compressor. Tucks away nicely, it's functional. It's hardwired into the factory upfitter switches. And you notice we've got this little T connect right here. This is gonna send air to the front of the car and to the back of the car. In our custom carbon department, had a little extra fun with this one. We went ahead and gave the upper and lower hood trims a unique custom V groove. Notice how the weave comes together in that v shape pattern. You'll typically see that on a lot of the supercars. All right, guys, that about wraps it up on this build. We appreciate you guys following along. We've got a lot of new builds coming up. So follow along. If you enjoyed what you've seen, hit the subscribe button, and we're gonna continue bringing it to you. Thanks again.